If your song lacks on energy, I got you. Today, I will show you 5 simple steps to make your drop hit harder. To give you a little taste of what it sounds like in the end, I play you a little snippet. If you want to know how we get this, stay until the end. Let's go. Tip 1 is the most obvious, change the volume. The very first note of the drop must sound much louder than the last note of the build-up. To do this in a controlled way, we automate a fruity balance on the master. We only make small changes between 0.3 and sometimes only 0.1 dB. Anything more would disturb the natural flow. Let it fade in slowly and set the starting point to the second part of the build. Another trick is to filter out elements to the drop. If you cut frequencies, especially in the high range, the sound loses power. So this tool is perfect if you use it correctly. To get the most out of it, open the full cutoff in the drop, not before. Draw a curve like this, depending on your instruments, and you'll get amazing and still recognizable results. What makes drops so energetic is that the instruments cover all frequency ranges. This creates a full and wide sound. So to get an audible difference between drop and buildup, it's a good idea to reduce the frequency spectrum in the buildup. I would concentrate on the sub and mid frequencies. A setup could work as follows, mid bass, pluck, filtered lead and a few piano chords in the buildup and additional synth chords, the full lead and a fat sub bass in the drop. This is the most effective way to build up tension. Before we come to the next tip, just a little reminder. You can get my brand new sample pack vibes and the FLP files to my videos now on my Patreon page. Make sure to check it out, thanks a lot. I would say the drop is the most important part of a song. This is where the attention is at its highest and as a producer it's your job to bring the drop to the forefront when it comes. We can achieve this by doing the exact opposite, by pushing the build up into the background as it nears the end. When we see this on the picture plane, we need reverb. So select a large reverb of your choice on your master and automate it as follows. Slowly reduce it when the fill or the last note of the buildup is played. Try it out and listen to this great effect. My fifth and final tip is another change you need to make to your master channel. It's all about the stereo image of your song and you shouldn't underestimate that. All the effects we added in the last steps reduce the normal signals that make the track sound good and balanced. So in the buildup, we want things to be more abnormal and prepare the listener for a harder, more familiar part of the song. If you turn this knob, you can change the mono slash stereo setting. So when we get to the end of the buildup, we pull a mono automation to make the drop sound much wider and more refreshing. So those were just a few of the many tips I can give you on this topic. For all the effects we have used in this tutorial, you can also use a plugin called Endless Smile. It does a similar job but you don't have full control over every single parameter. Nevertheless, it's a good solution if you want to have a fast production process. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want a more detailed insight into my projects or need theme-specific sample packs, check out my Patreon page, the link is in the description. Please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. Thank you and have a great day.